Sergeant Norman James Stewart was just 17 years old when he enlisted in the United States Army Air Force shortly after he graduated from Farmington High School in Michigan in 1943. He did not wait for Uncle Sam to order him to report for duty. He did not pursue a college education. He did not begin a career. Instead, he chose to fight for his country during World War II as so many other young men did from that time period. World War II separated friends just as it separated families. A childhood friend of Norman's was Edward Dick, the only child of Alexander and Ethel Dick. The boys' families were close friends. The two friends fought the enemy in different campaigns in Europe. While Edward was fighting in France, Norman was assigned to the 8th Army Air Force, the 445th Bomber Group, 701st Squadron, stationed at Tippenham, England, as a tail gunner on a B-24 named Old Baldy. On the morning of September 27, 1944, Norman's bomber group, the 445th, joined two additional heavy bombers, bomber groups to form the second combat wing. Due to the lack of recent combative engagements with the German Luftwaffe, the U.S. Allied Command decided to remove the ball turrets on the bottom of the B-24 bombers and load the planes with extra bombs for the mission. Without the bottom ball turrets, the bellies of the B-24s were unprotected against enemy fire. Little did Norman or the 445th know that soon only four of their 35 planes would survive one of the deadliest aviation battles in World War II. German fighters rose from underneath the Americans and began attacking the unprotected bellies of the B-24s. Old Baldy's third engine that controlled the plane's hydraulic landing gear was damaged. 20 millimeter cannon fire also smashed Norman's tail gun turret. The German fighters swung around and attacked the B-24s again this time from in front, inflicting damage on two more of Old Baldy's engines. With only one engine operational, the signal was given to abandon the plane. Norman did not survive the fall from approximately 20,000 feet. He was just 19 years old. No one will ever know why his parachute did not open. But what I do know is that his service and dedication to the protection of his country makes him a hero. A few months after Norman's death, his friend Edward, buried here next to him, was killed while fighting in France. Heartbroken, the Stuart and Dick families requested the two friends be buried next to each other here at Epinal American Cemetery. While the two may be far from home, the friends will forever have the friendship and company of each other in their eternal place of rest. Norman, your family may no longer be alive to visit you here in France, but you have normally become a member of my family. My children know you by name, your story has taught them history, patriotism, and the meaning of sacrifice. It will also serve as a lesson for school children to learn from for years to come. Your legacy will live on long after I have gone. Thank you, Norman, and may you and those who died defending freedom and your country know you are not forgotten.